Okay, another schematic. One of these days I need to learn how to do this all in VHDL or Verilog. But, so we've simplified things back down. There's a single wire in and a single wire out for the Opal Kelly front panel interface. Uh, the bus coming off for the wire in is four buttons on the front panel GUI. They're coming off directly to the LEDs on the board. The bus also, I pull a bus off for um, the same four bits into this thing that I made called bin to hex and it has six outputs on a bus to the seven segment display. Yeah, in my UCF file, my uh, configuration file, um, seg0, seg1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are all defined um, to be those pins. Those can be seen right here, maybe. I don't know how well you can see this. So net, seg out, uh, angle bracket 1, close angle bracket, location in 14. This is uh, the B input of the 7 segment display. So the bin 2 hex is a very short Verilog module. Uh, it's uh, from one of the, the tutorial that I've been following along with on All Programmable Planet. I've cut and pasted from their code and created new. So module bin hex, input 3 to 0 binary, output 6 to 0 seg out. Uh, I've created a re instantiated a register 6 to 0 called temp, and I assign seg out to equal temp. Always at binary 3 to 0. If I understand that correctly, anytime something changes of those three four bits, this will happen, this case statement, case, binary 3 to 0, the input, I do an assignment of these bits to temp based on the hex value. And then there's a default. Uh, so I created this. There was some uh, things I had to figure out. I started out without the register or the assignment statement and just had these temps be seg out and it didn't like that it choked so it looks like this is a register this must be a register to do the case assignment so I had to create a register that I called temporary because it would not let me register seg out so I haven't looked at the RTL code yet to see if do I have two registers here just one I don't know but that said this thing all works um, so these are the bits. And if I again, if I press my button on the board, if I the proto button, the proto button is also wired into the decimal point or hexmal point, I guess. And as I click these buttons, so that's a binary one. Now it shows one, a binary three, a binary seven and a bin uh, binary F. So we can, those things all work the way they're supposed to work. And that is it for now. Goodbye.